Hello everyone and welcome back to another Train Sim World 2 video. Now today we're doing something I'd, I never thought I'd be doing on Train Sim World. Uh, we're doing some UFO hunting. Um, someone actually mentioned in the comments section on one of the streams at the Mastery Challenge. Uh, obviously once you complete the tier 2 on here you actually get a sort of a, a UFO sort of easter egg sort of thing. Uh, they did mention it was on the Nilston branch. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to go and try and find today. Obviously if you don't know, if you don't want to know exactly where it is, uh, then don't watch the video, obviously. But yeah, we're going UFO hunting, which I never thought I'd be saying on TSW. Anyway, I thought we'd start Cathcart, so we get a nice little run along. Oh, I love the sound of that compressor. It gets me every time. Um, let's get the DSD on, we get the AWS on. Uh, let's set that to forward. All of these bits and bobs on that needs to go to on. That's all good. Instrument lights, pop them up, and there we go. We're pretty much ready to get going as soon as the doors are shut. But yeah, we're going UFO hunting. It was weird saying that in TSW. Right, let's get the door shut, and also we probably want to get this door shut as well. Uh, next station is Murend, which isn't too far from here. Let's get that off. So yeah, I said it was somewhere along the Nilston branch, so that's what we're going to be looking out for today. So we're going free camera a lot, trying to find this other Easter egg, uh, which is available. They did say they're at night time, but at night you guys won't be able to see really anything, and it just wouldn't really be interesting. So I've done as the sun's going down, so it should be all good. Alright, cool, coming off of here. And we can speed up to 50 in a second. Obviously, only a free car service. Right, let's uh, let's do a bit of free camera action. Can we see anything out of the ordinary? Is it going to be something in the sky? Or... I don't know, but we're going to have to look out for it. Right, that's that sort of section there. So, yeah, have it, obviously, do pop in the comments. Have you guys seen this yourself? I'm looking forward to seeing whatever it is along here. I mean, hopefully we can find it. And that would be a good start. Right, I'm coming off from Moore End now, so let's get the brakes on. Obviously, yeah, hopefully everyone is having a good day, whatever you may be doing. Obviously, good morning, afternoon. Uh, but yeah, hopefully everyone's all well. Obviously, yeah, back on the Cathcar Circle today. Which, actually, I should have gone in my... Um, Oh, was it cream livery? Uh, I actually get Mod P, he's brilliant on the livery designer. Got him to uh, whip up the cream livery, uh, the SPT one. Um, so you'll probably see that on a stream upcoming. Well, you might even see it today, actually. There's like another service going along. That would be cool. Right, here we are at Moor End. Obviously, we are all stops to Nilston. Oh, look at that, that is a perfect stop on the marker. Right, let's have a little look again. Can we see anything? Is it going to be in the sky or... I mean, actually, in the picture, it did show sort of the UFO in the ground. So I'm guessing we're looking out for something on the ground. Is it going to be next to the track or... I mean, it's quite a residential area, so I don't think they'd... I don't know, put UFO sticking out a building or something. Um, yeah, we'll have to uh, wait and see. Right, let's get the door shut. There'll be a William Wood next, which isn't too far along. Right, let's get going. Let's get that off. And let's go. Cool. So, yeah, we'll do the same. We'll sort of be looking out for any sort of signs of extraterrestri extraterrestrial... Uh, I can't pronounce that. Extraterrestrial activity. There we go. Yeah, but I'm looking forward to it if we can find something. I mean, hopefully we can, as it's supposed to be uh, on here. Right, off we go. Let's have a little look again, sort of in this little area here. It's starting to get a bit more rural now. Can we see anything in one of these? I mean, it, it might be a crash site. As I said, uh, the thing was sort of in the ground. 
So I have to wait and uh, I have to wait. Right, along we go. It's not too far to William Wood. But yeah, this is the uh, Nilston branch one today. Uh, probably my sort of favourite part of the line. Uh, you can probably open up the speed on here. It's up to 55 past uh, White Craigs. Uh, it's a lovely uh, bit of the route, this one. I mean, it's all lovely, but this uh, this bit for me is my favourite. Let's have a quick look again. Anything we can see, nothing in the sky, nothing over there. Okay, a little bit further then. There you go. Going at speed now. Yeah, it's not, it's not too far. Now, once we get to William, we'll have a look round again with the camera. We might actually look out the sides here if we can uh, see anything. It's still fairly residential, so I don't know if they would do anything in sort of a residential area. So it might freak people out if they, you know, they said they live there and then they see a UFO in the game, they might think, hang on, there's a UFO in my house, what? <laughs> right, this is William Wood coming up. But yeah, obviously the Easter eggs are pretty awesome now for the uh, mastery stuff. Obviously this one's apparently a UFO. Uh, I'm on the Cane Creek one, it's like some sort of dinosaur. Um, so I don't know if there's going to be some sort of dinosaur tucked behind one of the uh, creeks or something. Uh, yeah, interesting what they are doing with that. Anyway, here we are. William Wood. Cool. Go up to the monitor. And yeah, White Craig's next. And we'll have a look, look around here quick as well. That's brilliant. Right, here we are at William Wood again. Uh, yeah, I sort of made a bit of a boo-boo. Uh, I forgot to enable the... Um, what's the cream livery? Lovely, this is the one I was on about. Um, yeah, I forgot to actually enable... Uh, I didn't actually realise you actually, when you uh, do the mastery challenges, you then actually have to sort of tick what ones you want to see in the game. Um, I'll actually put a sort of little scroll, I'll, I'll do a little sort of tutorial, pretty much now. Right, so here we are on the menu, you'll see you click the route, well, any route, and it, you can do enable all of them. It says configure overlays there by pressing square, obviously it would be, what would it be on Xbox X, I'm guessing, and on PC it would probably be, you have a separate button. Uh, and then look, it comes out with all of these bits and bobs, but I've, I've got four, I don't really complete the mastery challenges that often, but yeah, you unlock. Uh, obviously a fun fair for Hamburg Lubeck, the crash right for Cathcart and the marketplace for the other two. Obviously you can see they've already got them sort of ticked at the moment, but you can see the, they've got the little sort of destination thing on them. Um, so yeah, obviously if you want to put them on, I'll quickly switch them off so you guys can see. Pretty much just click on them. Obviously now they're off, and then I'll click them again, and now they're all enabled, and you will then be able to see them in the route, obviously when you're playing it. That was just quite nice, but yeah, that's how you uh, get the tier 2 rewards on. Yes, yeah, so that's the way how you um, sort of turn on all of the bits and bobs, because I had quite a few, so I had I think four on there, um, and I just, I, I didn't know uh, you had to tick them to come on. I thought they were just automatic. So we're back here at William Wood, as I doubt it would have been anywhere sort of around here, because it's all residential. Um, and by the picture which we saw on there, it looked like it was sort of fairly rural uh, but let's get going again and yeah this is the uh, P I, I've done it again I said this is the P instead of this is the livery yeah this is the livery uh, P made uh, obviously mod P P88 uh, obviously this well he didn't make well he did make it obviously in real life it's already been designed but yeah it's the uh, cream livery for the um, the 314s looks brilliant yeah, very good job Peter's done with this. Yeah, it does look nice, so it's a bit more sort of variety uh, to the room. Yeah, 207. So, obviously, the uh, unit we had before was 207. And I remember, I don't know if it did get in the final cut. I said um, it would be a bit sort of weird if we saw this one coming along when we were actually in the 207 we were just in. I've been like, we're, we're all good. So, let's, let's just continue. Uh, we'll start looking around again now, as so I think it's starting to sort of open up now, uh, into sort of fields. 
Okay, maybe not. A bit further along. Let's get going. Yes, yeah, so I'm hoping it's... Well, I mean, it might, it might be at Nilston somewhere. Um, I mean, if it is, we'll go the full way. But pretty much once we found it, that's that. <laughs> right, it's not too far to White Craigs. Uh, could be in one of these fields. Let me look out that side. No, the house is on that side still. Yeah, from the picture, it looked like it was in a... A fairly rural sort of area in like a field. And then here we are coming into White Craigs. I believe the stop marker is on one of the station lamps. Here we are. Lovely station, White Craigs. Same with Patterton, that's a nice one as well. Right, here we are. Right, let's have a little look around again. Oh. Hello. What's all this about? Is Have we found it? I don't think I've heard this before. Oh. Oh, we have found it. Oh wow, look at this. Why are the cows underneath it just... Okay, well. We have just found it. We have just found the UFO crash site. This is brilliant. Um, I mean, the way they've put this in, I mean, look, the whole, everything's different, you know, you've got people, well, let's have a look. Obviously, we can't walk over as it's sort of out the map. But two sort of, I know, spy sort of inspector cars. You've got two people here sort of chatting. Hang on, are they, are they 2D models? I think they might be cardboard cutouts, but I mean, fair enough, because we are off the map, so there probably isn't actually any sort of spawn bits here. But look at this. <laughs> the cow was just chilling out underneath it, as you do. I mean, they've actually spent time, sort of, you know, all these sparks coming out, and, um... I mean, yeah, people always say, is there sparks in TSW? Yes! Here they are, here. Oh, this is brilliant. Uh, that is, uh... I need to take a screenshot of that, if I can, uh... So it's just at night time, you'll probably see the... I mean, it glows, look. It's, uh, that's awesome. Let's try and get a uh, screenshot of that. The UFO with the cows. Let's try and get one from over here where it's sort of a bit more UFO-like. Wow, that is uh, that is brilliant, that is. Uh, so yeah, that's just that's a White Craig station. But obviously you do need to complete both mastery challenges to be able to see this. Uh, but I think that probably does, yeah, that does conclude today's video. Obviously, another brilliant Easter egg there by DTG. Uh, love that. <laughs> That's brilliant, seeing that uh, seeing that there. Uh, but, yeah, obviously, we'll find a link in the description to the Discord server and to the PayPal if you do want to help support the channel. Uh, and also, look at the smoke as well coming out there. Proper goes up as well. So, yeah, it's fairly visible. Uh, and, yeah, also to the merch store, obviously, you'll see everything on screen now. Also, we have got the Cathcart Circle merch as well. Uh, but that is going to be it from me. Thanks all for coming in. Obviously, do pop all your thoughts in the comments uh, below. I mean, what do you think of this? I mean, this looks brilliant. Uh, yeah, do put all your thoughts in the comments below. That is going to be it from me. Thanks all for coming in. And I hopefully will see you next time. See you all and take care. Bye, guys.